When you do this breath, you have to demonstrate a will that's greater than any program. You have to find a level of intensity or a level of passion that's greater than the body as the mind or any addiction to any emotion. You have to be inspired, inspiration, the movement of energy. It's important for you to keep practicing. Many people, they do it once or twice and they say, nothing happened, I'm going to give up. But my question is, how long have you been thinking and feeling in these loops? And what is it going to take to begin to disturb that energy? So you begin to shake it loose. And once it shakes loose and that sympathetic nervous system switches on, it's a moving freight train, it's a moving locomotive. Because once this energy starts to move, and a movement of that energy, once it reaches the brain, is going to create a positive charge in the head, a negative tar charge at the base of the spine. And once it reaches the brain, now you're going to have an invisible electromagnetic field surrounding your body. And now your body is a magnet, and now you've liberated that energy that's been stored in there, that creative energy is now liberated for you to begin to create a new life, to heal your body, to have a mystical experience, whatever your desire is. So be kind to yourself and practice it methodically and slowly. And if you keep practicing it, just like any skill, it'll get easier and easier. Good luck. So as you sit up straight and open up this channel to the brain, in one slow steady breath as you inhale, you're going to lift those muscles, perineum front and back up at the same time. As you inhale now, you're pulling that energy and contracting these muscles and you're locking that first center down and you're squeezing and you're milking this energy out of there. So it goes first center, then you follow your breath into the second center and as you follow your breath into the second center, now you lock this one down. And the way you lock it down is you pull in your belly button close to your spine, you pull it in. So then inhale, first center, then you pull in the second center, you're still hold, following your breath slowly and steadily, and then you pull it up into your upper abdomen and you're locking down the center here. Now you're squeezing all three of these lower centers and when you squeeze these muscles, you begin to push that cerebral spinal fluid up. You follow your breath up into your chest, shoulders down, you follow it through your throat, straighten your spine, you follow it all the way up to the top of your head. Now where you place your attention is where you place your energy. So you want that energy to move right to the top of your head. So then as you inhale, you bring that energy all the way up to the top, you keep following your breath, you lock all the way to the top, when you get to the top, now you hold your breath. And when you hold your breath, you contract those intrinsic muscles. you begin to lift those muscles up and you begin to compress those muscles and you begin to push that cerebral spinal fluid up into your brain.
So then, why do I ask you to inhale and hold your breath? Now, this is an inhaling and turning purple and pushing. If you're doing that, you're doing it wrong. It's a slow, steady breath, and you follow that breath all the way to the top, either to the top of your head, or you put your awareness on where that pineal gland is between the back of your throat and the back of your head. Now when you inhale, that inhalation is very slow and very steady. It's not a big inhalation and pushing. It's a slow, steady breath, and you're contracting these muscles and coordinating it. You're following your breath all the way to the top of your head. And when you get to the top of your head, I'm going to ask you to inhale a little bit more. And as you pull up, you're going to lock these muscles down even further. And you're lifting them up. Once you lift them up and you have your attention either on the top of your head or the, the space that your pineal gland occupies in space, I'm going to ask you to lock those muscles down and pump, squeeze, or push. And I want you to push that fluid up into your brain by squeezing the muscles. Not by holding your breath harder, but by squeezing those muscles. I want you to begin to pump that fluid and begin to compress up against your pineal gland. When you do this breath, you have to demonstrate a will that's greater than any program. You have to find a level of intensity or a level of passion that's greater than the body as the mind or any addiction to any emotion. You have to be inspired, inspiration, the movement of energy. Don't be afraid of it. Just surrender into it. For some people, their body will do unusual things. That's information trying to be integrated into it. Don't be afraid of it. Just surrender into it. body does weird things, more than likely that's energy moving to your brain. If you have a lapse of consciousness or you, you uh, all of a sudden uh, find yourself on the ground, that's energy moving into your brain. It's happened to me numerous times. It's a sign that you're getting close or at least doing it correctly. Now where you place your attention is where you place your energy. So you want that energy to move right to the top of your head. Inspiration, the movement of energy. You have to find a level of intensity or a level of passion that's greater than the body as the mind or any addiction to any emotion. Don't be afraid of it. Just surrender into it.